Oh my hey guys, we're here live. Supposed to, I think we're supposed to work on upper back and neck. Yeah. I think that's what we told people we were going to work on. My camera's at a different angle. Massage therapists like to do fancy things like talk about the sternocleidomastoid. And if there's anything that'll press a woman at a party, it's when I talk about, hello, lovely lady, your sternocleidomastoid. It's a muscle and it connects from your skull over there onto your sternum, which is where the sterno comes from. And the mastoid is your mastoid process just behind your ear. This is the sort of stuff that massage therapists think that everybody needs to know. But what you have is a muscle and when you attach one end to the other end, it's like a rope, it just pulls. It's a muscle, so what? Do you need to know all the names of all these muscles? Do, when you finish this today, do you need to know the name? Semi, spinalis, capitis. No, I mean, I want you to know there's some muscles there. But the whole deal is you can go back to Google at any time and look up this information. It's all there for you. It's all available. I'll put it up on the screen if I think it's an important reference. But for the most part, to work on friends and family, you don't need any anatomical information. And yes, I said it. If you're a massage therapist, you don't like that, write some nasty comments below. Happy to field those. To learn how to work on people, you don't need to know any of that. Basketball players use muscles all the time. Did they know what the muscle names are? I guarantee you Michael Jordan did something with his semispinalis capitis when he was dunking and he didn't know the name of that muscle one. See what I'm saying? So the whole deal is we're going to go ahead. I'm going to work on Kristen, work on supper back and neck. She has dictated to me that after she cop knocked and made me <laughs> made him scream, almost soil <laughs> myself. It was really funny. <laughs> she needs an elbow in the neck. What'd you say? Elbow in the shin? Elbow in the neck, shin in the neck. Shin in the neck. Must okay. happen. So I, I know what she just said, but I'm going to work on her. I think what you're going to do is you're going to have your partner on their side. And one of the things I wanted to point out about our time massage jam, like you don't have to be a massage therapist or yoga teacher or personal trainer. Like anybody is supposed to use these. We put these up and continue to teach freely online because I feel like everybody needs this information. And during COVID, people don't get any contact with other people. I think it's probably more important than ever. The stuff that we show you is super safe to engage with and learn how to work on people. That's why she and I are dedicated to like using this. You're just showing people how to work on their partners, loved ones, friends and family. Don't feel like you have to be a licensed massage therapist to be able to follow along. So go ahead and uh, lay down on your side. Doesn't matter me which. I'm going to bolster her. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> And then I, I'm going to grab my handy dandy. Still, what do you need? I'll steal this one. What do you want that for? My head. So you want that instead of the, instead of the, pillow. the pillow? For me, I need more support. Fluffy pillows are great, but I like to use a yoga blanket and fold it up. What she's saying is that she is a princess. The princess needs support. And she will settle for no less than the absolute best. <laughs> True. So I gave her a bolster just because when her hip is here, I just want to make sure she's comfortable so she can actually relax and let go. There's nothing worse than being in a position where you feel like your head is kind of cocked to one side or the other. That would make her uncomfortable. And then upper back and neck, is it always the usual stuff like back here? Yeah. Always back here? Yeah, I basically feel like my neck is being pulled in both directions from looking down at working all day. And then after I get off work, I mess with my cell phone. And then I sit all slouchy on my couch like an idiot because I know better. And so I can feel that like my SCM, the muscle we just talked about, is tight and pulling me forward. Yeah. And I feel like my occipital muscles and all the, the splenius capus, all these guys are kind of mad and pulling me back. So okay. I've had an angry neck. And the first way we're going to work on this, and I do this all the time, this is my favorite, absolute favorite, is I'm going to come in and in my case, move my microphone and I'm going to scoot in right next to her, almost like sacrum to sacrum low back to to low back right here and then i'm going to loop underneath the arm to grab onto the shoulder here get this nice little handle because now what i want to do is i want to move around the shoulder blade so people think i'm working right here because this is where my hand is nah i'm working all down through here and the way i'm working all through down here is by using movement because i'm grabbing onto the shoulder blade when i pull and lean back look at her head and neck it's the first thing to come along for the ride, other than the shoulder. And I'm going to do this, going to shake that open. Pull it back, shake it open. Not too much pressure. Nice my low back. 
Low back? What? I'm not even working on your low back. How can I be working on your low back? My hands are up here. We're working it. So how do, how do you feel that in your low back? When you twist me open. Yeah, yeah. right there. Because she's getting a twist along her spine, so she even feels it in her lumbar. So I'm when I tight, when so I pull you back, how's right there? Oh, yeah. You're tight. I know you're tight. I could tell by that knock. <laughs> so, so much aggression. <laughs> That's true. It was, it was like, I was running late. And I was just like, da, da. it was like I pirated, and then I jumped in the room. it was like I pirated an album in like 1999 uh, and the RIAA came swinging through the windows to come get me for pirating a song. You know, I was just like, Whoa, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I wish that the mic was like flowing at that point. So I could re replay that noise you made when I scared you. I'm like, I think he said, come in. <laughs> uh, eventually, after I calmed down, realized somebody just knocked. Everybody was blasted through the door immediately after, so. And Good. right here along the spine. Hey. I'm just using two reinforced fingers. I'm not really pressing very hard. I'm just mobilizing right here. <sighs> so now it's, it's this <sighs> movement combined with this. Too much, you're kicking. I can't help it. You're running away. Yeah. That's what you get for cop knocking. I know. Freaking me out, making my <laughs> blood pressure go through the roof. I'm going to have to go to a psychiatrist and get on medication for that. Oh, my goodness. It's like, do you jump at <laughs> loud noises like a little girl cry? I'm like, yes. <laughs> now, if I lean like down towards the tailbone. So good. Or then back. Whenever you go down, I feel it more in my occipitals and like the, the muscles in the back of my neck. Okay, which one do you want? I want down. Down, okay. Now, that is a classic piece. And I know that's something I could just glance over, but I want you to really hear this, okay? When I did that, I just asked my client what they wanted. That's huge, huge. Because I could just keep rolling back and rolling back and rolling nice back and roll rolling back. back over this way and rolling back this way. And it wouldn't be exactly what she wants. She wants me to go down. She wants me to pull back this way. How's that? Yeah. Now, where do you feel that? Based on my skull, my SCM. Now, if I had a choice right there, if I go a little further forward, a little further back, which of those you want? Forward. Forward a little bit? What do you think? Right, right there? Do you need more forward? Nothing. Just right there? Okay. Yeah. Do we need to include the arm with it instead of just the shoulder? Is that you including the arm? No. <clears throat> so when I say that, and this is what I'm asking, sometimes the people won't even understand what I'm saying because it makes sense to me, but the problem in interpreting what's going through my brain is information's flowing across the corpus callosum, going through those hemispheres, and then Kristen Kopnock streaks, streaks me the fuck out. I don't know what's going on, <laughs> you know. So <clears throat> when I add the shoulder or add the arm, what it is, is I can pull the shoulder and the shoulder blade in the same direction, but I can include the, include the arm. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, tons of different ways to do this, but I'm just improvising in the moment because she asks. Now, that's lifting her head completely off there. Is that too much? No. How's the rock back and forth? I like it. Now, still right there? Yeah. There we go. Now, what if I interlace with the, the fingers and get above the wrist there? How's that? Good. Nice. A little further forward? Now, where do you feel it when I do that? Mm, I'm feeling it like in my bicep a little bit. It's really nice. Does it still extend? I'm, still my delt. I'm still feeling my neck too. There you go. That's what I was trying to figure out. Because yeah. then what happens is you got multiple moving joints, right? Yeah. We're across the wrist, across the elbow, across the shoulder, across the shoulder blade, across the vertebra and the spine. I don't have to do that. I just thought it would be nice. And I know how she uses her arm to be able to give people the finger while she's on her motorcycle, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. I did it today. Got going. So now I've put my foot just real broad, just across her, her sacrum. You can see this right here. I've just got my foot right across her sacrum. 
And what's happening is it's allowing our whole spine to kind of roll back and open. How's that? Yeah. There we go. Do you mean to kind of walk my feet up and down the spine? Sure. Sure. So just with a little bit of pressure, not, not major pull, I can just walk the feet up and down right through here. If you get up to the shoulder blade, you can kind of hook the toes underneath that. Now, it's important to note that as I'm doing this, we talk about those crazy muscles. If you want to impress people at parties, you got to use the Latin names, Greek names, because everybody thinks you're smart and sexy and that's how that works. But mainly what it is, is <clears throat> you're going in and opening the pecs this way. A lot of that uh, slouch forward posture is really coming from the chest in the front. So when you're doing this, even though I'm here, right? I'm like rocking her spine, anchoring at the sacrum and then pulling her open. A lot of that stretch is actually coming from the pec and pec minor. Pectoralis major and underneath it, pectoralis minor. When I pull back, it's putting some length on that muscle, pulling it back and open. And then what do you think, here or higher? Lower. Lower. Tell me when. There. A lot of my body work, I say, it's like pouring tequila. You tell, when? Tell, tell me when. And you're like, oh, that's good. That's a good shot. I like that one. But like only, that only if it's a good, like only if it's a good sipping tequila. Don't come to me with those additives and fake stuff. It's no, gross. I don't need that. That's gross. It gives me a hangover. Blech. Right there. A little bit higher. Uh, so I move my foot just, just like an inch, a little bit higher. Right there. She don't even answer me no more. I'm awake though. It's just like yeah. class. Just she like, didn't answer yes. me. Now, somebody cop knock and scare her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I didn't, used to, I didn't used to be that jumpy, but now I think because I'm alone a lot because of COVID, yeah. like random noises scare me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I jump in appointments whenever there's like, it's really quiet. Yeah. And it's so from here, we've opened up some of that, right? When I was pulling the arm down, did we lengthen trapezius, especially the upper trap? Sure. We're pulling that shoulder blade down, lengthening that muscle, that junction between the neck and the upper back. But I want to be able to continue that process working on levator scapula. Same thing, elevates the scapula levator scapula the scapula is the shoulder blade it elevates the shoulder blade people love to make this stuff seem like super complex it ain't super complex it's just a muscle it's fine go look it up google google is your friend uh suboccipital semispinalis capitis that's just one of the many of the neck muscles a couple i just listed a handful there so you could get just a basic idea but a lot of people when they're having problems they're having problems with this junction kind of like right up here right this is kind of like that, that meeting place between the upper back and the neck. How's that right there? Tight. Tight. Do you want more pressure there? Yeah. Okay. So I'm pulling her hair out of the way. I, I quickly did this because I don't want to grab some of those stray hairs and like pull on that in a way that's uncomfortable, but I need to change my position and see if I can get at an angle that's going to help me get my forearm and elbow. And I'm going to change like this. Let me see so you can see me well. And then right in here, one, I'm looking. The uh, seam of the shirt, eh, you might want to slide it out of the way. Then she's got like this little bitty necklace. I don't want to press that into her skin, so I might be able to lift it just a little bit higher for this first pass. And then what I've got is essentially skin or just like flat shirt, something that's going to work for the compression there. I'm going to come in with my forearm and elbow, big and broad. So I'm kind of, on my case, about right there. Do I go elbow? Ah. Do I go here? Eh, it's not quite as strong. This is the big, thick part. This is where I hold the beer, right here. So I'm gonna come in. What do you think? Oh, on my bone a little bit. On the bone, okay. So if it's too much pressure still? It feels like you're on C7. Okay, so hold on. Do you want to come a little further forward? Yes. There we go. Now, when she said that, I don't take offense. I'm like, what bone? I don't, what bone? I'm the, back there, I'm the body worker and I'm, I don't know. So I had to ask her, what, what, like, do I go forward? And she's like, yeah. So now, do you need more pressure? No, me sure. No, sure. You want more pressure? Yeah, I want more pressure. Okay. So to give her more pressure, I have to stack my shoulder on top of my elbow. 
To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot up just a little bit and then lean in. How's that? Mm -hmm. Now, does that feel like more pressure? Yes. Now, that's such a subtle shift. I don't think you could see with your eyeball as opposed to hear, Lewis Black, hear with your ear because radio goes in your ear and TV goes in your eye. What but when that? it goes in your eye, what is the stuff that goes in your ear and eyes? No, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? The song? Is that Robert, song by Robert? Lewis Black? I don't know who it is. Oh, it's like radio, Video Killed the Radio Star. It's Lewis uh, Black. He's doing like a bit about radio goes in your ear. <laughs> I, mean, I know you're doing something. But MTV goes in your eye. <laughs> I know that there's something I don't know. When you see it, in other words, it's such a subtle shift. There's probably just a very slight shift in angle like this. That's really all I did to be able to deliver more pressure. To give more pressure, I tend to stack my body on top to be able to allow gravity to allow me to sink down. Now I've got some good, I think, pressure right here. Do you need more? No. No? Do you want me to go further forward yeah. or further back? Uh, forward. Further forward yeah. or further back? I really want like an elbow back there. You want an elbow. Okay, yeah. so I'm still on my forearm. And when you say you All want right, your we'll elbow, your you, you want a point. You want uh, more pointed. Uh -huh. Now, for you guys, I still think you're better to go ahead and, and judge this. If your receiver is asking for more, feel free. You're fine. We're not in the front of the neck. We're not upper of the carotid, ah, carotid artery. We're not choking somebody. This is definitely in the back, right? Like our head is facing just a little bit down towards the mat. When you want elbow, do you want yeah. elbow like down yeah. towards there? Okay. So I'm going to create a little space right here first. And then I'm going to come in and go, you want elbow there? I think so. Is that it? Um, you tell me. Yeah. Okay. More pressure than that? No. You want forward or back? Backwards. Tell me when. Ouch. Ouch. Great. Back off too much? It's good. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. It's about as bad as that cop knock. Uh, my as, feedback is. <laughs> about as bad as that cop knock. That's great. We have tons of video available, by the way. If you guys want to learn more, I have a subscription service. It has 800 hours. I'm not lying to you. There are 800 hours of video footage of me teaching since 2017. And as Matthew McConaughey would say, if you haven't subscribed, it'd be a whole lot cooler if you did. It'd be a whole lot cooler. So what do you think? A little further forward? Ooh, yeah, that's fine. Or a little further back? Forward. Okay, tell me when. When? There we go. Now, she's choosing this, but she's giving me feedback. I could easily deliver too much pressure. I could easily come in and just deliver too much pressure in a spot on trapezius, on the levator scapula, somewhere in the posterior cervical spine, and she'd say, hey, can you back off a little bit? And I said, great, awesome, yeah, no problem. But <clears throat> because she's asking for a bit more, I decided to go ahead and give her that she's educated schooled in this she knows what she can receive and that's what she wanted i'm not going to argue with her that's what she likes so from there do you want more point yeah there we go now tell me when when there we go that's great. now you couldn't see it quite as well from this angle but i have this arm lifted before the arm was kind of uh, over here and I lifted it higher because when you do this, what you wind up doing is you're giving the elbow more of a point. This is more flat. This is more pointed. Now down towards the feet yeah. or up feet. towards down towards the feet. Tell me when. Oh, when. There we go. It feels like I'm grabbing a section of skin and then shearing it different directions and asking her for feedback. Do this. I do this constantly all across people, your toe. I'm like, big toe. You're like, I'm going to twist this way, or you're like, I'm going to twist more that way. And they're like, what the hell are you doing? Uh, pain science to your piggy. <laughs> <clears throat> now, I'm, I'm going to double up, because I got this good, steady pressure. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to reach over and press this away at the same time. So, do you like when I press the shoulder away? Yeah. You like that? Yeah. So, now, now I'm going to hold both. A little bit forward or a little bit back? Forward. Tell me when. Yeah. Right there? There we go. And I keep thinking, man, this is this is so much work. This is so much work. It's like, it's, it's so much on my arms. Why don't I just use my 
elbow on steroids. <gasps> Can you use an elbow on steroids? You are, can. are you allowed to use an elbow on steroids on that cervicothoracic junction? And I call it a cervicothoracic junction again because you have to trust women at parties if you ever go to parties during Omicron. And if you do go to parties during Omicron, please don't hang out with me. <laughs> so I'm going to give some length right here. It's kind of opening this space, okay? So I got a little bit more room. Yes. Yeah. So brings her, her shoulder down. How's that? Yeah. Now, what do you think? Right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this I like. I prefer this. You prefer this. Why do you prefer this? Big broad. Big broad. Okay. Now, why didn't I do this first? This is a trick question for you, Kristen. Um, because you were no... trying to show people an elbow because you thought they might be more under yes. control or feel more comfortable. Because we were about to get hate mail because people are going to see this and go, oh my God, you're putting a knee in their neck. And I'm like, ah, it's, it's really, the shoulder. My it's really more here. the cervical thoracic junction at the top of the trapezius. At the top of the... The scapula. The scapula. You know, and, and if you were on my subscription service and if you knew what I teach, it'd be a whole lot cooler if you did. You'd understand. But, you know, hey, we're doing what we do. Can't see nothing. Going different angles. So what do you think? Right there? Yeah. Now, more pressure? No. Good. Good. More, more forward or more back? Fine. Fine. Right where we are. Now, yeah. what if I yeah. bounce just a little bit? Think Matthew McConaughey meets Little John. Little bounce, little trap music. We think, little crunk. Need a goblet. It'd be better than my my water bottle. Need a crunk goblet in the back. That's right. We think right there. Yeah. Now, I've got to have my hips stacked. It's a little more challenging for me to describe how to do that, just because I've just done it so many times. I just know where to put my legs and feet to be able to deliver the pressure, but just make sure it feels comfortable to you and comfortable to the receiver. What time is it, by the way? 7.22. Oh my God, it's almost over. What do you mean? We you need to hurry the hell up. Man, I need nothing. I need to hurry the hell up. See, this is how I get treated by my colleagues. <laughs> this is the respect <laughs> I get. Did, like, you need, to hurry, like five you need to hurry the hell up. Hurry the hell up. Pick it up, boy. <laughs> We still need an elbow to the neck and a shin to the neck. So, do you want me to do the other side? Or do you still want the elbow in that one I need spot? An elbow. Where? Right in the right So, right. and here's the deal, guys. She's she's trained. Show me where. Right now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do exactly what the client asks of me. One, I'm going to move the necklace a little bit further down because I don't want to press into her skin. And then is it right there? Yeah, you feel that? Okay. So, she's she's asking for an elbow right in there. So, that, so that's what I'm going to give her. Okay. So I'm going to come in and I, I know her well enough. She, she wants a point, but you can start in your case a little bit more broad. I'm going to go a little more to the point. She wants that. You can go a little bit more broad. What do you think? Right there. E. E. Too much. Oh, edge. Okay. So I need to back off a little bit. That's good. There we go. Do I need to shear up or down? Hold on. Give me two seconds. I want to adjust my pillow. Okay. So that was a case of like, I could feel that I wasn't being fully supported. And so it was hard for me to relax with the, the pressure. Okay. Right there. Uh -huh. Now up or down. Right there. Right there. Now to the front yeah. or to the back. back. Tell me when. when. Right there. Yeah. That's a good spot. Yeah, lighten up slightly. And then when I back off, that little bit of lift in my spine is just me taking pressure off. How's it now? Yeah. There we go. And they get to hang out here and ponder Matthew McConaughey. Because I saw him fight a dragon one time. And then there was this other time you played this guy in Austin. It'd be a whole lot cooler if you did. And then there was this That's other so guy. Good. He played some guy in the Civil War, the Free State of Jones. Then another time he played in Dallas Buyers Club where he played this guy. I love Matthew McConaughey, by the way. Hey, Matthew, if you ever see this, come get a session. I'll give you one. I uh, love Matthew. What do you think? Right there? Yeah. Any referred pain from that? Yeah, across the front of my face. She feels it across the front of her face. Goes up my head and around. 
And then people are like, oh my God, do you have COVID? I'm like, you asked yeah, me at, at, at the height of allergy season in Austin. <laughs> Do you have a sore throat? That's all right. Yeah, that's one thing you learn. Robert laughs a lot, and when I do, I bounce. Yeah. So the, the pressure modifies itself in such a way that she's he like, goes, stop like laughing. Joc- he goes, you like jostling, right? That's bomb. Nothing relieves my neck tension like this move. And it's pretty light pressure. I mean, I'm just stacking my body and hanging out. Oh, that's so Just good. hanging up, yeah, hanging up. That's what we do when we do the good work and we hang out. Simple, right? I'm trying to make it as, as easy as possible to do this. I'll give you a different camera angle so you can see what's going on. I'm going to slowly release on that side because I'm going to have her flip. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. I like it. Never heard that one. Oh, I might have to steal it. Always one. sunny in Philadelphia. Flip, flip. So she took her bolster with her and I'm changing camera angles with oh. my toe because I could do that. <laughs> so this time I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to start with the knee because we're running out of time on this side. That's why the sessions I usually do are three hours long. Ooh. It's hard to fit everything in. So like right there, right in there. This side is so tight. There we go. And then uh, Matthew McConaughey was in Frailty, which is one of my favorite like horror kind of films. Not a lot of people for some reason seen that one, but that one totally creased me out. Matthew, that was the, the craziest movie. And it was totally crazy because I could see that shit happening. Now I gotta watch it. Frailty, whew, man. Be, be prepared, Frailty's red. Maybe a movie freaked me out. So I'm gonna oh. bring the shoulder down to create a little space right here, right? Sore. Bring this down and create a little space. And then once I've created a little space, I'm going to walk that knee in. Right? Uh, How's that there? Yeah. There we go. Uh, right there. How's that? Uh, Too much? Just tight and sore. Just, just tight and sore. Okay. I've been doing yoga, so my, okay. like my delts are tight from like down dog and like chaturanga. So to the front or to the back? Back. Now you can see I'm just moving her arm right here, okay? So as I'm doing this, is it opening up the pecs? Yes. Is it opening up the traps, especially the upper? Yes. Is it opening up levator scapula? Yes. Am I also getting some skin stretch around the neck? Yes. Is it also, eh, maybe doing some stuff to the SCM? Sure, why not? But I'm just right here hanging out, right? Just applying a little pressure. Now, what if I give you a little rock right there? How's that? I like it. You like that? Okay. What about the up and down? Mm -hmm. There we go. It's very common for someone to say, nah, you know, I just want you to hold still like static. I'm like, okay, cool. Totally, totally fine. You just have to find what your partner likes. A lot of this is experimentation and the big capital C communication for sizzle. Right there, Kristen? Yes. She said yes. She likes this. It doesn't look like I'm doing much, right? Just look like I'm kind of hanging out here. How's the pressure, Kristen? Good. Good. Couldn't even take any more, really? I don't want any more. Yeah, she didn't want any more. And when she says she doesn't want any more, it's like, it's not about the amount of pressure I give or pounds per square inch. It's how do we do it to help the client and work completely effortlessly? That's really what I teach. Mm-hmm. That's really what we're, you know, working on. And to disengage, here's what's going to happen. I want you to watch this. I'm going to put some weight into this hand and then I'm going to slowly lean on that mm-hmm. so I can disengage through the knee because I want to be able to come in and give her some pressure with the elbow right there. How are we doing on time? I mean, we didn't start right at seven. What? You lied you're, to me. You're like talking. What? We didn't. She, she's trying to get minutes out of me, I can tell. I mean, it's the truth. <laughs> it's the damn truth. When I bring this down, is it still that same spot, kind of like yeah. up high, right in there? Okay. So let me, let me come around to this side now, because I never opened this up the same way, right? Could you just c- complete the little sequence that I did? Yeah, yeah, sure. You could totally just complete that little sequence, but I think she wants some pressure right up in there. She wants some pressure right up. What do you think, uh-huh. about there? Okay, a little more to the back. 
There we go. And I'm just using my finger to feel around, okay? When I do that, I'm right at the top of the suboccipitals. Do you see that like red, green, blue line right there? I'm kind of at that junction, almost at the top, or I should say the base of the skull. The occiput, the suboccipital. Sub, of course, being beneath, right? Subway, it's underneath the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and see if I can get my elbow in position. And I'm gonna ask her for feedback here. So I'm gonna come in right, right at the base of the skull right there. There's still some soft kind of meaty tissue right there. Yeah. How's? It's a little lighter. A little lighter, you said? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna back off a little bit. How's that? Yeah. Okay, almost imperceptible on camera, but I went from uncomfortable to okay, right? Yeah. Now, did I go to the back or do I go to the front? Yeah. Tell me when. Yeah. Right there? A little lighter. A little bit lighter? There we go. Now, I had to work more to like lean up to take pressure off than I did to like lean in. It's super easy, super easy. W once you learn how to use your elbow on steroids, once you learn how to use your tools, you're gonna do this stuff mostly effortlessly. One of the things that's really great about it is if you have a partner at home or somebody who's a friend that you wanna work on, it's super, super easy to just throw a p couple of pieces like this at people to be able to help them with like upper back and neck pain. We do it all the time. How's pressure? Yeah. Good? Not too bad? Doing, pr doing pretty good over there? Yeah. Now, a little more to the back. Yeah. What do you think? A little more up? Was that was bomb? And is bomb good? Yeah. I'm getting old now. I don't know my nomenclature. What do you think? A little more to the front? Uh, a little more to the back? Uh, or back and forth? I don't know. Maybe we can see. So I'm going to very slowly, I'm kind of going back and forth across the suboccipitals, across the base of the skull there. She, she was kind of saying it was, it was both, so I'm just gonna continue that for the moment. And then what do you think, more to the front, more to the back? More to the front? Stay. Stay. See, she's just telling me what to do. She's going off to Snooze Town. Good. Yeah, you. Say something? You're going to Snooze Town. I know you. You hit the off button. You hit the off button. She's going to Snooze Town. I, we've been here before. When I do full classes with Kristen, they're two hours long usually. And usually the second hour, especially. It's like, I ask her tons of questions about feedback, what's going on. And it's like, huh? wait, what? Hey, hey. <laughs> Gonna slowly back off. And what do you think? We got another spot in there or what do we need to do? At elbow? Yeah. Elbow where? In the neck. Where in the neck? Around there. Low, low high? Around, with your so when you say lower, do you mean like down here? Yeah, I'm just saying, I think I think try it in a knee. Or is it base of the skull more to the posterior? Hello. Uh, I'm mostly I'm thinking. I think it's the base of skull. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're gonna hook in there. And I want I want to see. I'm gonna change my position just a little bit. 
How's that right? A little, too big. a little too big. So you need Here. something sharper? Yeah, so what if I'm like that? Uh -huh, okay. That works. Okay. So I shifted from my elbow to a little bit more of my ulna. For those of you, I can't really, I can't get my nose to it, but that's the point. And I was more, more broad. It was the point. It didn't work right. Work. She wanted something a little more broad. If I broad and then go up or down, up, up a little bit. Tell me when. when. Okay. Now forward or back? Forward? Yeah. Tell me when. Right there? And no more pressure than that? No. She say, no more pressure. And I hang out right here. And what I do with this other thing is normally I have my phone and I'll tweet iced tea and I'll tell him how cool he is. And even though I don't watch the, the show that he's on, but I love him and his wife Coco and I love what he does and I love how he influenced me and makes me go beyond rap and metal to new realms that people don't like and they hate on you. I like iced tea. There you go. Take that. How's that right there? Good. You holding yourself in place with that arm? Uh, What's Robert doing? Oh, well, mostly I try to hang out for a living. I like this. This is nice for me. This feels good. I like hanging out. I like not doing a lot. How's it feel, Kristen? Great. So what are we going to do? Time massage. How are we going to learn it? Join Robert's subscription. You know why? Because Matthew McConaughey said be a whole lot cooler if you did. It's a whole lot cooler. Now, what do you think? A little more to the back, a little more to the front. Tell me when. Right there. A little bit more up. No, just right there. There we go. After you learn how to deliver pressure, then the goal is to release and relax all of your own tension. And if you're me, you play poker online and a guy's going to call four all ins with six, two off suit for money, by the way. And when you do that, you just go, wow, these people vote. They have say in science education. They're reproducing and having children. <laughs> they have a wonderful concept of statistical analysis. <laughs> On, online poker at the low tables is like is like running through a minefield and just hoping you make it. <laughs> a little longer? Good? You dead? You, you tapping out on me or you want more? Tapping? Okay, so I'm going to slowly just lean off. And usually I'll just give them a second because they'll usually kind of move around. They want to make themselves feel more comfortable, put themselves in a slightly different position. All right. Last one we're going to show me and the shit and then we switch. What? It's, it's, over, it's over time. Fine. It's eight minutes after, past. After time. I'm going to show them. After time. What? Show them the shit. You ain't going to get no extra work out of me. Uh. What is this? Wait, All right. Well, you think I live to work right. on Kristen Lumsden? You think my whole job is just... I'm going to give you a shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting a shit in a second. So are you guys. 30, 30 minutes, bro. <laughs> All right. So bathroom breaking? Yeah, we're going to go uh, for a quick bathroom break. We'll be back in just a minute. We're also going to switch out microphones so she can talk to you guys. Yeah. But feel free, you know, like just take little pieces. As we continue to do this, don't feel like you have to follow us exactly. You're going to learn a little bit each time as we do it. We also put the anatomy on screen just so you have a better idea of what's going on. But uh, we'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, game time. We have now <laughs> switched our partners. Payback. This is Payback awesome. time, y'all. <laughs> but if you're like me, I enjoy this work. This is like, it makes me feel so much better. Literally, table work won't relieve my neck tension I have. Both Robert and I have been in car accidents. And so I have to always deal with this neck pain. So anyway, this is the best stuff in the world. So let's go ahead and go face that way on your side. Yeah. 
So get your partner. I'm going to move my microphone. Make sure your hip is supported, head supported. We're going to come right, right up against your receiver. I'm going to loop my left hand underneath Robert's arm. I interlace my hands and I just lean back. Get a little movement and open that peg. Since you were the giver, since now the giver, you were receiving that first time, I'm just gonna go ahead as we're just slowly opening up the shoulder and neck, I'm gonna show you a little bit of anatomy to show you the what we are opening up right now. Right now we're opening up this pecs. Pulling these traps down. Get a little bit of this levator scapula. Darth Levator. I'm going to show you these muscles in the neck. As we're doing this, we are affecting all of these muscles. And I want you just to be familiar, just to be able to recognize what it is that we're affecting here. Like Robert said, I don't expect you to memorize any of this. That's not necessary. Now I'm going to come in with two supported fingers. Supported. Two strong fingers. Actually, I'm giving you three. Is that too much? Is it too I pointy? Give, I give people one strong finger. You get three of them. Maybe four if you're lucky. Depends on my mood. And I'm basically, my left hand is the one kind of like, bringing him back as I'm just kind of dealing around here with these fingers. Just seeing what's going on in here. And I give a little bit of length. Open Robert's pegs. Robert, what do you prefer? Do you prefer when I'm pulling down towards your feet? Or do you prefer when I'm pulling back and opening those pegs? I think it's actually down towards my feet, but it's because you already did that pass to the back. A couple right? times, like, yeah. Like when That's I feel, how I felt when you did it. I feel it. stiff, and for me, I feel almost nothing on my shoulder blade. It's all in my neck. Yeah. It's all like this deep, like it feels like tissues like stuck. Like it doesn't, like the layers don't want to peel or move past each other. That's six two offsuit tension. Oh, that's two times the big blind and no limit holding tension. Oh, that's a guy raising Jack 8 offsuit middle position. Oh, that's rough. What do you do? So Robert spends a lot of time on a computer, so he has a lot of tension up in here. But a lot of it is in his pecs. So just so that the second round of receivers can feel what we did to the first round. We're gonna go ahead and let you understand what it feels like to pull from the arm and give that neck. You are doing less glide. I'm a big glider. I don't know why I do that. I just love glide. How'd you have it with the hands? So he interlocked the hands, if you can see here, and then holding the wrist. And I'm sitting on my feet and I'm just leaning back. Let me show it from a different angle. Right? Now, whenever you first start doing this work, you're not going to be able to sit on your feet if you're not very, if your feet aren't very open. So don't be hard on yourself. You get to where you are and do what's comfortable for you. If it's more comfortable to sit side or squat, you know, do what's best for you. Never do anything that is going to compromise your body or make you feel any pain. So I'm going to come up to the top to Robert's head as I pull my leggings back up. I'm gonna give a little length. Is it cool if I just go straight into the knee? Yeah. I, you know, let's just save our, let's just save ourselves and go straight into the good stuff, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and give a little, a little space here. I personally already know that I don't like being off the mat. You guys are on homemade mats most likely. So for you, it's, you're on the, probably the same level. I want my knee to be up up here because I'm a shorty anyway. So I just already know this about myself. So I folded a yoga blanket to give myself a little, 
a little extra space. And I'm shooting for this area right here. Right in here. Okay? We're going this way towards the feet, not into his throat. So I'm going to come in. I'm using my hand for support. And I'm going to sit up because I can. But if you feel unstable, keep that hand down. My left hand is giving length through Robert's arm, pulling the trap levator down. How's that pressure? It gets rid of the cop knock. <laughs> this guy. So I could feel that I just knew that there was a better spot right above it. And so I kind of came in and I, you could see that I came in here and I just kind of pulled it back and pushed down. I kind of like pulled it back and pinned it. Cause I just knew it's a good spot. Give a little movement to the arm. Not everyone likes the rocking. I, I tend to like it. Robert, do you enjoy it? Yeah. Found another good spot and I'm just gonna little rock. I find the rocking lets your body ease into the, the pressure and like lets go. Whereas you might be kind of holding or stiff, unsure if this is your first time to ever receive this work, you might be a little more stiff um, then you will the next couple times you receive this work. But the rocking really helps the body relax. I like to use my hand, uh, my right hand on my hip to just give my body some support, kind of stabilize myself as I'm giving this knee to his shoulder. Always watch your receiver's eyes and facial expressions because not everyone will speak even though you tell them, hey, let me know if I'm hurting you. So just always keep an eye on what their facial expressions are saying as you're working. You should see what I look like when they crack me with 7-2 offsuit. You should see that facial expression. <laughs> So I feel like we've got some good softening going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and slowly release. Then I'm gonna come down. Boop. I'm gonna bring my elbow into this area here. Not in his neck to me, behind his ear. Well, not quite behind his ear, but in this back area of the neck is what I'm showing you, right? Let me show you the neck. There you go. So you can see where, when I say behind the ear, what muscle I'm talking about, the SCM, how it comes in and attaches at the mastoid process. I'm kind of going back over in here. So the area of my, I'm not using the, the pointy part. I'm using this flat spot right here. And once again, the way you sit varies. It's how you're comfortable. My QL and my low back is very tight. So I kind of tend to sit like this to kind of release the pressure in my back. So I'm going to come in and just slowly, slowly ease in. No more? Yeah, no more than that. And he has spoken. No more. Feel like wrap up around my, almost like behind my left eye bit towards like the frontalis like, like frontal bone like above my eye I 
So I just kind of sit here and wait, letting his body receive the pressure as his body begins to release and relax. You feel it more towards the base of the neck or more towards where I'm at? Whatever that is. All right. More towards the base of the neck. So I get more towards the front, more towards the back. The back. Back. So I just check in, make sure that he likes the area I'm in. He did. But I just wanted to kind of show you a little reference as that how we make sure that our receiver is liking what we're doing. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong camera too. That's funny. Thought we were here. Not the first time I have done that. Yeah. Looking at a camera, I'm like, that's not the camera. That's not the phone. camera. <laughs> <laughs> One day we'll get it. It's crazy how effective this move is. I can go, say if I cannot get in with a Thai therapist and I have to go get someone that does table work, I, the whole time I'm thinking about their poor fingers as they're digging them into my rock hard neck. And all I need is a relaxed elbow just hanging out in my neck, you know? Nothing crazy, no insane movements or effort put in. I literally just need someone to lean in to my neck with their elbow. And this does all the work. I never feel bruised after this work. Yes, I have an elbow in, in your neck, but I'm not bruising the tissue. I'm just leaning in. Robert, do you like how I'm kind of dragging it towards the back? Yeah. So it's interesting because we talk about effleurage, but I could make a distinction between effleurage and a slide. Yeah. The effleurage to me usually involves some sort of cream or lubricant. Mm -hmm. And I like traction. Yeah. Like she's sliding, but it's like a snail. It's like super, super slow. Mm -hmm. My body seems to be able to process it better. It also feels just like 10 times as deep to me. Like I'm still getting that referred pain almost like behind my temple. So basically I'm dragging my, I'm slowly, I mean, legitimately snail's pace, just dragging my elbow and I'm tracing underneath his skull pretty much. And not everyone you can do this, especially if, if the neck is really, really tight, it won't allow you to at first. Like you just have to let it release and relax. You have to warm the tissue up before you can drag it around. Otherwise you're just being mean. You probably kind of start to see that I'm moving now. And I'm going to finish the stroke off. And slowly lift up. I'm going to go ahead and flip the other side. Oh, no, I don't want you to flip. I want to do a little twist, twist. Twist, twist. And so we're going to do a little twist. I like to generally do the same things that the person who went first does. I'm going to move this remote out behind Robert's head just in case. He won't go that far. So I just got my foot. And actually, I don't even really ever hold the hand. I, I probably hold sometimes the elbow. Sometimes I'll hold like this. It just depends on what the person likes. And I'm just going to... Maybe you want to come in and do a little walk. I mean, we're definitely going over tonight. It just is what it is. <laughs> what? It just is what it is, Robert. We have an exact schedule. We do not. This is regimented. And so when you're walking on the back, just make sure that your arch is over the spine so you're not pressing into the spine with your feet because that doesn't feel good. Receivers always let your givers know 
if they're doing anything that's uncomfortable. So I'm going to come up to the top. I'm just going to pull his scapula over my toes. They kind of just went right, right underneath it. Deep breath in. And... Was that on your spine too much there? No. Cool. I'm going to go right underneath the scapula. Deep breath. And... Ah, a guy limping. Six nine, suited. Deep breath All in. One, one. He never asked me how it feels. And... He doesn't care. He's a statistician. He's a poker savant. <laughs> and... All right, now we'll flip them sides. Other side we go. Now you get the turnover. Turnover, sir. Uh, it's not official unless you make noises. Uh. All righty then. So once again, lining the body up. And fine, I'll move through a little faster so that way we are ending closer to time because literally we're supposed to be done in two minutes and that ain't happening. I guess we're not getting any shin to neck because I definitely no time for that shin. And just lean back. I'm going to do a nice little mix of pulling down towards his feet. Pulling back to open the pecs. It's not nearly as stiff on this side. Well, that left side, your bad still, side. Still, still feels good, but it's not nearly. It's, the other one was like, like it had like old. It was like old beef jerky in there. Oosh. Like it wanted to hydrate. I'm gonna come in with these supported fingers. We're gonna switch the cameras here. Okay, here we are. Stop giggling. <laughs> If your partner giggles, just, you know, <laughs> keep going. He gets one less finger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start streaming on Twitch. When I, play I was gonna tell you that you should do that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save up all the bad beats so that when I'm, when I'm working on people, I can- You can I'm switch gonna, a I thing. do some video editing and put like a, the little bad beat corner. Yeah, you should. <laughs> It now we're going to get poker players to be on our channel. Me drinking and like chucking shit around the... God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moving on. All right, we come up to the head of our body. Once again, I'm going to move my little spot here so that I can be on the same ground as him, the same level. I'm going to give some length here with my right hand into his shoulder, bring my right knee. And once again, I'm coming right here into this little junction. I'm going towards the feet. And I'm just leaning in. He says he likes it with a good thumbs up. Give a little movement. You feel like that spot's nice and softened, just kind of let your knee up, find a new spot. Give a little movement. It's 
since I ju just felt my watch tap me. I know that it is now 8 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and move on. Let's see what we got here. So I'm going to come into this area, the back side of the neck. I'm just going to lean in here. Robert, how is that pressure? It's, it's better than what my ex-wife did. <laughs> <laughs> she went more for the jugular. I'm guessing we're not making <laughs> clips of this for my social media. <laughs> Crazy person. No, but see, that's the thing. You can just blame it on me. Uh, it has nothing to do with you. It's like, Robert wouldn't behave. <laughs> Robert was horrible. It started with a cop knock. <laughs> So what sound did I make? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, my my nervous system went on fritz. I was like, what? <laughs> hmm. So it's interesting. This side side still definitely feels tender. I just started to get that like referred thing. Nice. But it's not it's not as like it's a little it almost feels a little sharper on this side, meaning the referred pain. Yeah. But, like, I don't think you're delivering any more pressure or doing it much differently than you were on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah your other side was definitely more sensitive. So I felt his neck was kind of, the tissue was holding tight. So I wasn't doing any sliding. I was just, I was just staying in a stationary point. And then it was all of a sudden his tissue kind of just, re it allowed me to slide. I wasn't even really asking to slide. I was literally just hanging out one spot and it started to allow it. So I'm just kind of going with it and letting it slide down the back of his Skull across all those wonderful neck muscles. With how much we look down at our phones, on our computers, these muscles are common muscles that are tight and causing problems. I think it's great we did a uh, head and neck today and because of the cedar allergies and all these issues people having headaches from cedar fever and if you're a partner or roommate or friends you guys should practice on practice this on one another and see what you can do to help one another feel a little better each day right you feel good what we're done yeah you didn't want to do shit in the neck so we didn't do shit in the neck <laughs> i requested it i did I was turned down and told I was being a princess. <laughs> Things are true. <laughs> but I hope you all had a good Christmas, a good New Year's, all those wonderful things. We'll see you back in two weeks. Danielle and Robert will be here on the 20th, I think we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what the topic's gonna be yet, but we'll go in and uh, work on some other stuff on, on that date. Just stay tuned to the YouTube channel. You could follow us on Facebook. There's a Time Massage Jam, like a main page, where I put up the events periodically. We'll continue working on stuff. If you ever want to go back, you can look at the playlist on my YouTube channel or just type in Time Massage Jam. You'll find tons of video from various jams. 
I prefer the ones where we're doing this because I'm putting anatomy on screen as we're working. So you get a chance to see these a little bit better than some prior ones that are up. But at any time, you can go back and practice with these. Uh, you guys have a great day. My neck feels great. I feel good. How you feel? Feel pretty good. You're like, deny. That's how I feel. <laughs> I feel like I feel better if I had a shin in my neck, but we'll get to that next time. <laughs> cool. You guys have a good night. We'll talk to you again soon.